Welcome Clarity Coders. Today we're going to walk you through installing Anaconda on your PC. Anaconda is an open source distribution of Python that comes with some of the most powerful tools pre-built into it. So with Anaconda, we're going to get Python installed, Spider, IDE, and Jupyter Notebooks all from one downloader. So let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to pull open our favorite web browser, whatever that is for you. I'm going to open up Google Chrome. From here, you can navigate to this URL, or you can do a Google search for Python Anaconda. So I'm just going to do a quick search for Python Anaconda. You'll see that pulls up that URL here in the first link. Let's go ahead and click that. From here, you'll see two download buttons. We're going to click on one of those two download buttons. This will pull us down to the download choices here. It should have some options pre-selected for you. So if it's gonna probably guess your operating system correctly, here we're on a Windows computer, so you can see it's selected Windows. And then below are two options. We can download Python 3.7 or Python 2.7. Now, if you're following tutorials and things like that, the first number there, the three or the two is important. If you don't know which you should download, you should download Python 3. It's the future, so go ahead and grab that. The only reason I would download Python 2 is if you have a reason for downloading Python 2, whether it's a work project or a certain tutorial you wanna go through, but if you don't have a reason, let's go ahead and click Python 3. Point whatever here. We're gonna go ahead and click download and this might take a while. So we'll let this spin for a little bit. It's about 400 megs as of the time of this video and I will hop back in when it's finished. All right, awesome. Looks like our download's finished here. It should still be in the bottom left corner of your browser. If not, it might be in a downloads folder so you can check there. So we're gonna go ahead and click that and open up this installer. And this is going to be pretty much a click next type of installer for us, but I will walk you through the options here. So we're gonna click next. We'll go ahead and read the licensing agreement here, which I'm sure you will all read fully. Click agree. We're gonna install it for just me. In this case, you can install it for other users if you have more users that use your laptop or PC. Leave it in the default location unless you have a reason to do otherwise. This is the only one that I kind of wanted to talk to you about. You can see here that it has add Anaconda to my path unchecked. If this is your only installation of Python and you wanted to check this, you probably could without having an issue. Again, if there's no reason for you to add it right now, then I would leave it unchecked so it doesn't cause any issues. We're going to be able to install with Anaconda's command window if we want to install packages or we can install packages through Spider. So for right now, unless you have a reason, let's go ahead and leave that unchecked and we'll push install. This is going to take a little bit. It usually gets hung up on setting up the package cache. So let this run. It may look like it's frozen. Give it a good amount of time here and we will jump back in when this is finished. All right, and just like that, we are finished. So hopefully you came to a completed screen like this. If you did, let's go ahead and click next here and next again, and you can uncheck these and go ahead and click finish. And that's it, we have Anaconda installed. So what next? If you're trying to follow tutorials or something like that on Python, the first thing you wanna take note of is in your start menu now, if you're on Windows or in your apps on Mac, you should have an Anaconda 3 folder. And if you expand that, it should have all the tools you need inside of there. Now, I use Spider IDE a lot. That's where I type my code for the most part. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin that to the start bar. And then just for right here, I'm gonna show you Anaconda Navigator as well. And this will take a while to boot up your first time. You'll see some command prompt windows and different things. So just let that run. And now you'll see we have that popped up here. This can kind of give you an overview of all your tools that you got with Anaconda. The ones that I use the most are Spider and Jupyter Notebooks. So let's go ahead and launch Spider. The first time you open it, you'll get some pop-ups asking if you want to update, different things like that. Once you click through those, you should come to a code window similarly to this. And if I just save this somewhere, I'm just gonna save it somewhere on my computer. Here we can type our code. So I can set my name equal to Jake. I can print that out, name. And you can run all your code right from here. So you're ready to go with any tutorials or anything like that in Python. You can do it from this window or Jupyter Notebooks or wherever you would like. If you need to install packages as they'll do in some tutorials, say you wanted to work with Pygame or something like that, you can install them right down here with pip. You can do pip install Pygame for ex example. And that'll run through the installer right from this spider IDE window. That is all for today. 
If you're looking for another project to test a real world API, I do have a video out for creating a Reddit bot. And I'm going to go through some of the other options you have for progressing through Pythons in a future video. So look out for that as well. It helps the channel. Please like and subscribe to this video if you'd like to see more. Until next time, keep coding.